What is up, guys? It's James from James Jeff Tiles. Uh, I talked about yesterday brewmating corn snakes. Today, I'm actually going to be putting them in the tubs for brewmation tomorrow. I got my four containers down here. Every Each one's got very thick substrate and a nice half half bowl of water so they can't, if, if they end up tipping it, which they most likely won't, it just, because they're not getting checked very often, it won't hurt them as much with all the cold water. Um, of course, we're going to my buddy Armando's house. He's going to be watching after them. When snakes are in brumation, you don't really have to check them that often, especially since I've cleared them out quite enough. Uh, he's got his own corn snakes he's going to be brumating, so he's just going to put those along with his, and I'll see him in a couple months. Let me get him in those tubs. First up, we have my female. Um, the heck is she? I forget. I forget what she is. I have it saved somewhere, and I should put it on the tub, but I don't. She is... I honestly have no idea what she is. She's definitely cool, though. Her name's Spaghetti. Just try to open the tub with the... There we go. There we go. Let me just pre-open all of these. Voila. And of course, my female reverse Okatee doing a nice little coil down here. She's definitely getting huge. Right into the substrate. Yeah, she likes to hide. Looks like this guy finally shut out. And it is my male reverse Oka T. My favorite of my, um, I was gonna say my favorite of my snakes. My favorite of my corn snakes for sure. Look at how nice that is. It almost looks like a red zip. In you go. And the last of my corn snakes, my male, who is a double het. Uh, was a visual something, of course. God, I can't remember what that is. I gotta, I gotta check. I gotta check because it should be important what his genes are. But for some reason, I don't know. So come tomorrow, I'll take all these to work and I'll drop them off with Mondo and I will leave them in his care. Of course, Mondo is a good friend of mine. Um, someone I trust, someone that's really popular in the community. Everyone trusts Mondo. He's just such a great guy. And he breeds amazing snakes. If you don't know who he is, go follow him on Instagram, on uh, Facebook, and give him a shout out. This is my boy Ray's car. Definitely a male at this point. Look at this guy. He's a beauty. He does not show up well on camera. He's like red with dark gray. Absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my nicest babies right here. Uh, for for different reasons. Um, of course, I'm keeping a lot with a lot of big spots. This has a lot of speckles of the black, the red, and the oil spots. No, not really any of the white spots. But it's up on Morph Market. Um, if it doesn't end up selling and it ends up being a female, I'll keep it. But it's looking like a male. In fact, I would guarantee that as a male. Unfortunately. Look at all those speckles. How do I always end up producing all males? Of course, my lily white. Hopefully, it'll be getting its own, uh, well, it'll be getting its own tank soon. As soon as I set it up, sell a couple more geckos, make enough money to set it up. Really hoping this one's a female, too. Uh, one I produced, its name is Sandra Lee. 
lots of little black speckles everywhere and you know it's at that stage where it's just about to blossom unfortunately it did lose its tail uh not really worried there if it's going to be a breeder but it's at that stage where it's just about to start uh getting tons of more spots so this one will have lots of little speckles so that was me feeding a bunch of my crest geckos and showing some of them off. As you can see right here, I'm starting a new doobie roach colony. There's nothing in it, it's just cardboard right now. But this one right here, I was breeding for size, and I can't, I've started this colony over before, but it keeps getting infested. Only this colony, I can't figure out why, only this colony, with uh, confused flower beetles, which are harmless. But if you smush them, they smell weird because they're beetles and beetles always smell weird. That's why you won't find very many animals that actually eat beetles because they understand that they're disgusting just out of instinct. Um, but I'm going to be swapping this out. Unfortunately, this is my densest colony. So I'm kind of worried if I put these in all my colonies, these roaches, and if I separate them into all of them, it's going to spread them. Maybe they have like eggs on them or something. I don't really know. But I'm probably going to pick them off and put them in this one. I'll probably take this off at heat tomorrow and start slowly putting them into this one and just kind of see if uh, the flower beetles arise in that colony. But nevertheless, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm James from James Jeptiles. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that really helps out the channel. Uh, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, jamesjeptiles.gmail.com if you have any questions and I will catch you tomorrow.